We will present the work about UV stability of organic nitrogen in primitive ocean that I did with Jiang Wei Wang. Let me briefly introduce the method used in our experiments. Our specific method used to prepare the deaerated deionized water is bubbling nitrogen into both deionized water until it cools down. The method we used was mentioned in Amber and Holland's article. The main purpose is to remove the dissolved oxygen in the water. The second step is preparing the required solution. First of all, weight organic nitrogen compounds and salts are transported into glove box, dissolving in the aerated deionized water to make the solution needed for experiment. The solution is then transferred into the reactor. Connecting the reactor to the chiller to make sure the reaction process at 25 degrees Celsius. After locating the reactor, turn on the xenon lab to carry out the photolysis reaction. When the, re when the re reaction starts with lead different sampling times, we take samples almost every 12 hours for six times after the start of the reaction. Because the reactor is airtight, every time we sample, we must inject a certain amount of gas to draw the sample, inject the taken sample into the sample tube, and take the dark control at the same time, label the sample and store it in the refrigerator. These are the general steps of our experiment. Actually, we have finished experiments with five different species of organic nitrogen. Here I will take lysin, for example. Since deamination is the major process in solution, which means ammonium will be the major nitrogen-bearing product of photolysis, we use IC to measure the concentration of ammonia in our samples. Through analyzing samples taken out at different times, we can figure out how photolysis proceeds over time. Here shows our results. By plotting irradiation time versus concentration of ammonium, we get figure 1. As you can see, we've observed a considerable increase in ammonium concentration, implicating that there has been significant photolysis of lysine. By some simple calculation, we suggest that at least 45% of lysine has decomposed after 48 hours of irradiation. Assuming that ammonium is the only uh, nitrogen-bearing product in photolysis, uh, we try to create a simple first-order reaction model for UV photolysis of lysine. Beginning from reaction rate equation, we acquire the function describe, uh, describing the relationship between reactions irradiation time and the concentration. To verify our model, we, sub we substitute uh, the ammonium concentration of each sample into the expression uh, and plot the obtained values against the corresponding irradiation time. The strong propor proportional relationship impl implicates that our model could be right. Also, by using the model, uh, we also obtain the uh, possible rate constant that is 0 0.0131 per hour. However, since our research is on the primary stage, our more work is needed to develop a better model. That's all. Thanks for listening.